Oh, oh, oh fuck, my fucking Oh, no, hey, hey. Ready? Yep. Oh. oh. Alrighty, guys. So we picked up another gem. 1978 Exciter 440. Twin to our 78 340. Um, how long do you think it's been sitting, sir? At least like 10 to 15 years. I mean, the, the, the track and chassis tells me swamp. Motor tells me swamp. the same. Swamp. We took the head off, guys. You can see just hit full of rust. So I'm thinking, honestly, it might just be rings stuck to the bore. Yeah. You know what I mean? We soaked it with PB and ATF. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, this one's coming off. Dude. Oh. Not detonated, though. No, but they're crusty. Oh yeah, you just get the you just gotta get it loose. The head gaskets are still there. <laughs> They're there. In spirit. Um, they self-identify as a head it's gasket. That's why they make soda cans. Soda cans, yeah. The steering. And the steering seized, throttle seized. Intake boot isn't an intake boot anymore. No, it's kind of a. That's not an intake boot. No, it's junk. But yeah, we're gonna try to get this thing unseized and we'll let you know what happens. Alright guys, you need to take a look at that strap wrench out of an old ratchet strap from Raymond's truck about 20 years ago. Yeah. Chonker around. That one's moving. I can see the piston moving. You gotta give it a hell of a tap though. Ready? Yep, it moved, it moved. I seen it move. Now you're in some more? Yep. So you get those rings from stuck to the bore, you know, they're just rusted right. tight. Dude, it budged, man. I saw it move. I'm like, oh, yes. I just can't vouch for the base gaskets that just ripped in half, but we'll just... If a little intake leak ain't gonna hurt it. You just gotta pretend it's not there. Right. <laughs> yeah, just pretend it's not there. Now we're ready. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull on the... Ready? Oh, All right, she's free. No, it ain't. Yep. Let's get the head back on. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. Oh, get she's starting. Swing All right. Swing these gas gets up. This right, thing will run. So, we get word of a storage unit that is being auctioned off. It's been abandoned for 10 years. Guy totally just left all his crap in there. So we saw the snowmobile online for this auction. So we show up. Grimy guys, only four people. Wasn't there five? Well, the one guy wasn't. Five. They were together. Oh yeah. But anyways, so alright, five guys. Um, silent auction. So you don't know what anybody else is in, and you have to take the whole unit. Full of dirty old bikes, some tools. So anyways, we were twenty-five dollars under the highest bidder. Um. Sold and then we harassed this guy for maybe 40 minutes trying to finagle the snowmobile. Dude, it was terrible. And he did got, not want to got, sell we got anything. A whole lot of parts too. I mean, three extra gas tanks, a hood for an ET 300. Um, I mean, just a whole school of stuff. And uh, yeah, we also got this Merc over here. Dude, thing is mint. Best Picked investment. A couple wires, things fired right up. That was a hell of an investment there. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, well, we did get it to turn over nicely now. Very happy with that. Um, look at that. That thing was seized up tight though. I mean, we got to put that rat just down. Yeah. Secondary guys? I mean, that's, that's snappy right there. That sheave is snappy. Dude, ain't even... This is the portal. Okay, we're getting the airbox out of the way. I gotta bypass the kill switches um, as we don't have a key and the tether is kind of pushy, uh -huh. pushy wompy. So well, yeah. we're gonna disable the kills, check for spark, and then throw her full of WD 40 and hydro lock it. Yeah. <laughs> well, WD 40 never. Really. All right. So throttle unstuck, oil pump stuck. I need a, the oil pump did move. I pulled on it. Oh, it did? I unplugged all the kills, guys. Look at the spark and give her a yank. Good sparkage. A little weak, but a little rusty flywheel magnets probably. What we're gonna do is give her a little go-go and see if she pops. Rusty spark plugs too. No. Oh, these are good yet. <laughs> these are good yet. Can I put a little bit of candy, a little mixed gas on it? 
Wouldn't hurt. In that Google bottle? I got the Google bottle uh, right here. Just put a little tap of oil in it. So basically what we're gonna do is put a little mixed gas down the old throat hole and... That pen's oil! Oh! And I also impacted just with just a Just give her like gun. a cap full in each and I'll fucking didgeridoo her. If we didn't blow the base oh. gaskets out of it. Oh, open that up. Don't Let me smell it. Oh! oh. <laughs> it smells like motor oil. Terrible. Yeah, it's two stroke? It's, blue. it's two stroke. Good. Just give her a little shake skis and put her in both holes and... It ain't gonna go anywhere, the belt's off. Except rev to the moon! It ain't, it's only gonna rev till it runs out of gas. Or when I stop spraying candy in it. Oh, you're gonna keep cosmeting it? No, spray the mixed gas in it. So it has lubricity. That's good. Oh, fuck, dude. There you go. Is it gonna pull over when we have compression, though? Because uh, we haven't only pulled it over with the freed. We uh, really did like 20 revolutions and we're gonna start it. <laughs> bah, ha, ha. Nice. All right. All right, Mike, your kill switch duty. I ain't killing it. The only Damn, thing I'm doing is ripping those spark plug wires off, if anything. Well, which wires are you gonna plug? Uh, well, this is no longer with us. Well, is this the fuel line? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, so probably want to yeah. plug in. If you're gonna kill it. Why don't you just put them together right now and then just push them, you know, once it's close? Well, if they're already there, it's gonna touch. Okay. But just plug one of them in. I gotta get a spark plug. Yeah, in. just plug Why don't one in. You just on. connect this one so if something happens, we can just. Oh, yeah, just trace this one back to Bye. here. It is this one. I told you guys. So let's pull like, it over and make sure we still got, got spark. spark. Okay, turn it off and see if we don't have spark. You wanna, Crash, you got spark. You want to you want to pull it open? Mike, pull the plugs off real quick. Not yet. Here, plug the plug the pull the plugs off or no? We got mixed gas in there already. We already got mixed gas, and we're gonna hope for the best. All right. All right, we got the plug socket, dude. We got the kill switch plugged in. We got it up. It's right there. We're not testing it at all. Yeah, I got it. We put the heads off, like just popping the piston a little bit. Got the ring stuck, unstuck. Yeah. That spark unplugged all the kill switches. Really? We don't need to tighten those spark. Are you sure? Do. But you're testing. No. We're going hand tight. I did hook the kill switch up. Well, we'll see if it works. Ready? I think it's that one. Yeah, it must be that Eddie? one. Ready? Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. I got too much in there, mate. Starting to pull it. That's rust. Break, yeah, I'll break clean these off. Yeah, but how did you do that, man? Let me suck it out. Hey, let's see if we Mike, got spark. Mike, start them on, start the spark plugs on fire. Burn that shit off. Hey, let's hold see if on. we got... Gas. Open gas. Wait, just let's just see if we got spark with yeah, the kill, kill switch on and kill switch off. Okay. All right, so kill switch is... It's off, so it should be. I should have spark. Yeah, holy spark. shit! Good blue spark. No, no. Spark. That's off. Good. Nice. Works good. Perfect. <laughs> that was nice blue spark. Keep pulling it over. Keep pulling it over a few times. Not much. Under heavy. He dumped a bunch of fuel. How did we? Yeah. We gotta break clean these plugs. It is. Uh, it was most of it went on the exhaust. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. I, go I got the throttle okay. unstuck yeah, too. I can't believe it, Mike. We got it unstuck, spark right away. I can't believe it. Yeah, we're getting this. I got you. Well, I know how those switches work. I just unplug them. Yeah, I mean, those guys are probably turning. They're probably getting pissed off now. They sold us that stuff. Yeah, no. Also, uh. Didn't put nothing in it yet. He had some rust in there. Remember? Yeah, spray it off and then. Spray it. Mark, you just got the lighter. You still spraying it at him? <laughs> I'll put one on if we need. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Where's that yeah. gas bottle? Yeah. We need that. You want some more of those? You want some of this down there real quick? Oh, oh, oh. fuck my fucking body! Oh no! Hey, hey! Mm. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it! Fucking start my hand on fire. Jesus hey, stop for us, stop for us. God damn it, Mark. I said hold on. <laughs> fucking start my hand on fire. Oh, fucking okay, alcohol man. abuse. Guess is on his hand, huh? Dude, my whole what fucking hand was on fire. What a dick. <laughs> Those spark plugs got dropped. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. No, no, we'll shoot it through there. Let me put a little bit in this one. No, no. No? No, no. Yeah, it's going to be. But it's got reeds. Huh? Reed though. Oh. Where's the reed valves are stuck? 
Then we can't get gas in there. Yeah. Dude, why are we not tighten those spark plugs? They show enough compression. Yeah. He's got the brake clean. Yeah, I'd give it a gear. I mean, you could try brake clean. Give her a shot, boys. Ready? Yep. Oh. oh. Yes, dude! Woo! Fun. All right, we got it running. <laughs> well, it smells delicious. I didn't mean that. Nice! Nice! Yeah. Yeah. Success! Woo! Let's go, boys! Let's go, boys! Who's gonna ride this thing? Alrighty, guys, it's day two on the Exciter 440. Only picked up in the storage unit. Yesterday, we had pretty good luck, you know, got it running. Uh, today I had not so good luck by ripping the entire intake boot in half. Um, currently, nothing but the finest of JB weld. Um, welding the metal back to the rubber, that's probably been deteriorating. The carburetor, we cleaned that. I mean, it wasn't even in need of cleaning. It was nice. Wasn't much in it, just a little bit of discoloration. But yeah, so that's good. Uh, I took the doghouse off the gas tank and then removed all the key switch and all that stuff. We're just running the emergency stop switches are a kill. Just needs a fuel line from here to there. Um, so we'll put a little splice in there. But if I can ever get this intake boot to dry, I don't know if it'll be today, but then we could put the carb back on and, and try to send her all the way. In the grass, wet grass that is. But yeah, still turns over today, uh, so that's good. Usually it's a bad sign if they get stuck overnight and that tells you the crank bearings are probably junk. Sparks hard at her over there on the Harley. He's been at her for I'm sweating. 10 hours and the flies and he's wearing a 4X shirt so it's even worse. I mean that is just terrible. Just uncomfortable. But yeah there's a good look at the hood in the daylight. Um, it's rough but pretty cool. Last time she was on the old trails was 04 so that might have been the last time it ran honestly was 04 to tell you the truth. What do you, what do you think Sol? What do you think? Last time she rode the trail, trail ride with no seat. Last time I was trail ride, she was 04, right? Yeah. I believe it. I mean, okay. it looks like it. Yeah, this is my first slide. They parked in a swamp after 04? Yeah. What? Yeah. But yeah, oil pump seized, so we're going to run pre mix. Actually, we're going to run no mix. You know, we're going to let her run yeah. hot. She's going to lead her in. With, yeah. yeah. She's going to lead her in. So, hopefully, I don't know if this intake boot might take, you know, 24 hours to dry, but. Regardless, we'll give her a full send. 